Well, very ironically, we have a lot to talk about. Because this is going to be spoilers aplenty, but sadly, that's just the way of the internet and how the world works. But last night, The Rock did indeed return. And if we're not doing The Rock versus Roman Reigns for the main event of WrestleMania 40, then something very weird is going on, because that certainly seemed to be the case. Now, of course, this has set the internet into meltdown, so I just want to start like this. I know, Simon, shut up, you positive Pete. But again, make sure you check my ups and downs for Smack It Down and listen to the words I'm saying to you right now, turn into someone from the D'Angelo family there. But yes, these two statements can be true. One, it sucks that we're not getting Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 and Cody can't finish his story. And two, it's pretty damn exciting that we're getting The Rock versus Roman Reigns. I'm just repeating myself what I did say on my What Culture video, but it's the only way I can feel I can sum it up the best. Timing is everything. <laughs> Timing here is just terrible, mostly because when you do watch wrestling, you do try and suspend your disbelief. You buy into the storylines, otherwise why are you going to tune in every single week? And Cody winning the Royal Rumble and therefore getting Royal Rumble powers like some kind of superhero and pointing at Roman Reigns means it doesn't matter what anyone says to him. Not The Rock, not Stone Cold Steve Austin, not Hulk Hogan, not the Macho Man Randy Savage, and that one definitely isn't going to happen. But he is allowed to say, no, I really want to fight Roman, so you can say whatever you want, I'm going to do it. But instead, he went in the ring, he made it very clear, listen, that belt you have, Mr. Head of the Table, that's the one that I want, but because I chatted to Dwayne Johnson now, I'm just going to leave, and he's going to have the match instead. Listen, again, I'm a positive Pete, but I can't spin that. It doesn't make any sense. It's two plus two equals potato. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm not excited for The Rock versus Roman Reigns, because I am. And once Cody so sadly had to just walk away from there, like Ralph Wiggum when he gets his heart broken by Lisa Simpson, it was awesome seeing The Rock look at Roman Reigns and seeing Roman Reigns look at The Rock. And ironically, once again, you had the electricity of the live fan base. But once all that settles down, yeah, my overwhelming feeling was that I was disappointed because I was, because I'm a huge Cody Rhodes fan. And given that we have so much wrestling in a year, I understand that the gravitas of WrestleMania and how important it is. But again, repeating myself, because I do watch wrestling throughout the year, that's what I wanted to see happen at WrestleMania 40. And if you watched a lot of my content, I was a big supporter of Cody losing at WrestleMania 39, so I like the idea of 12 more months and him finally doing it second time around. But now I've changed my mind. I just have. That's what happened. Our brains, we switched gears. Now I think he should have won at WrestleMania 39. Now, I didn't think that WWE knew this was going to fall into their lap, and I understand they want to try and use Dwayne Johnson, who is a massive star. Again, more people will probably tune in because of this, but it doesn't mean that I don't look at it and get slightly perturbed, especially because even with saying the same thing, but even with the mega life of WrestleMania, couldn't we have done like a SummerSlam or even a Saudi Arabia show or hell, just come up with Rockamania. Just do that. We've got a brand new event. It happened in June. It's called Rockamania. And the main event is The Rock versus Roman Reigns. And then the other thing you probably could have done is if Cody Rhodes did defeat Roman at WrestleMania night two and become the world heavyweight super champion, you could have The Rock beat Roman Reigns. I don't think anybody would care. And then then maybe you would have more jeopardy going into that match. Whereas, well, no, I say that. Maybe The Rock does win a WrestleMania. <laughs> and if that does happen, there's going to be so much chaos. Now, we say this bit really quiet because people get mad. This is why I secretly do like it because I'm Dr. Robotnik. And I really, 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 really love chaos. But I still don't think it was the right thing to do, even though I will enjoy it when we get to WrestleMania. Because now the other issue is that we're going to pivot, I presume, again, it's all speculation and fantasy booking, to Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins. And the way that WWE <laughs> decided to build that up was Roman Reigns cutting this very funny and very engaging but scathing promo where he ripped Seth Rollins down, basically said he was an absolute joke, told us he doesn't earn as much money as Roman Reigns does, and said that championship was a waste of time and at best a number two belt. But it ain't number one. So you've just absolutely crapped on the other match that we may be doing to the point, and I actually think we will be okay because Cody and Seth are so good they'll talk us into the building, as they say. But if we are doing Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley, which to me has a lot of momentum and a lot of build behind it already because we have been teasing. Maybe that should be the main event of night one. I don't know. And I do understand as well, there's a lot of hearsay out there that because CM Punk got injured and all the awful stuff with Brock Lesnar, WWE has had to head in a new direction. But I struggle to buy that one because surely on paper you had Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. So those two individuals are fine at the moment. I hope they don't. They're not hurt. So surely the situation to fix would be the Raw main event and the SmackDown one is totally fine. It's difficult to get too over the top about it because it is like saying, oh, here's an ice cream and here's a pizza and you can eat an infinite amount of one and it's not going to put on any fat. It's like, it doesn't matter which one I choose. I'm going to be a happy chap. But maybe that's also being a little bit too shallow as well. Because again, when I do get deep down in my tootsie toes and my tum tum, I wanted to see Cody versus Roman. Again, that's the one that I've invested in. And there's always a little bit of a struggle when somebody does come back to do one of these mega main events, even if it is The Rock. I cannot deny that he's a mega star and so many people are excited about it too. It's not just a one way street here. But then there's the caveat to that. If you do go on YouTube, you can still secretly see the dislikes, the 
certain websites that will tell you. And I don't know how true this is. Now, look, it is true that right now it has more dislikes than likes. Very interesting. And it got to a million views in about 20 seconds or something like that. But I believe it's either on course or already has become the most disliked video in WWE YouTube history. Can't even talk today. And given that it features The Rock, that is a massive pat on the back for Cody Rhodes. Because when Cody rejoined the WWE, oh, he's going to get booed when it all comes down and he's going to be Stardust. Well, no, he has been on this two year adventure. He's become the face of the company. He's become the brand new John Cena, if you want to call it that. And he has tapped into this fan base who are totally behind him 100% of the way. And that's the positive I am going to pull out of it. I think it's absolutely wonderful. And the journey he's had since 2016 is just so damn inspiring. And I think we could all learn something from that and take something away from it too. Also ties back into that promo. He did cut with CM Punk a couple of weeks ago. Remember how he said that he's the real CM Punk? Well, he definitely is now because this is exactly what happened to CM Punk in 2013 when, of course, he was a champion and he lost the belt and we got The Rock versus John Cena. Now, I don't think CM Punk is going to be on the TV for a while because I think he just had his tricep surgery, so all the best to him. I hope he gets better soon. But he really should be and he should be there in Cody's corner going, remember what I said to you a few weeks ago about Star coming back and taking his spot? I told you so. More people need to listen to me. So there is certainly mixed emotions here and I guess we have to see how it is going to play out. But it does kind of feel like we had all this good worth and all this good speed going into the Royal Rumble and we've just thrown that away. Whatever reason that may be, but we'll wait to Raw and we'll see what's going to go down. But no, I think ultimately if you put a gun to my head, I don't think this was the right decision. I think you could have had The Rock as a special guest referee to stop the bloodline getting in there and then you still got his star power. And again, you can draw this out and do The Rock versus Roman Reigns at a SummerSlam or whatever the hell you want to do. And I think that's kind of something that WWE should be looking into. I mean, what do I know? I'm an idiot and they're way smarter than I am. They've always said they wanted to turn SummerSlam into a summer WrestleMania for obvious reasons. And I do believe it's in a massive stadium. So if you do advertise The Rock for that, you're going to sell it out. You're going to have at least 50 50,000 people there. When you're talking about 50,000 people or 65,000 people, does it really matter? And maybe that kind of importance all of a sudden means SummerSlam is on equal paring to WrestleMania and ultimately you're going to make more money anyway. So I don't know. Maybe that doesn't fit into his schedule. Maybe he literally just have a window around WrestleMania and Triple H and the powers that be feel like this is what they, they have to do. But I do know that when it comes to WrestleMania, I'll buy in because I'll be there and the adrenaline, the excitement. But in terms of being a nerd fan, I will be like, I'm sad I'm not getting Cody versus Roman. And I don't know what Cody and Seth are going to do but they're really going to have to sell that championship and again they do have the two best people to do that but right now i actually think it's in a worse state <laughs> And it was 24 hours ago. If you've got 10 minutes today, just go and watch the final segment of SmackDown and listen to Roman's promo. And listen, Romo is fantastic and I love him. I just call him Romo. Let's call him Romo from now on. He is really, really good. But if we knew what we were going to do, I think we should have just dialed down the knob just a teeny little bit. Because if Cody now does say, oh, I'm coming after you, Seth, ironically, especially coming from me, why? Why are you doing this? You didn't have to do it. What did The Rock promise you? What did The Rock give you? Shares in the company? <laughs> That's the other thing. He's now obviously on the board of directors. On, it's going to create an absolute pit for at least the next couple of months because I think WrestleMania is in Philadelphia, right? And back in the 2016, 2015 Royal Rumble, when The Rock did come out to help Roman Reigns, he got booed. And that could happen. I mean, I don't want that to happen because I think that just takes away from the show. I mean, it's still funny. There's still <laughs> certain amusement to be had. But I certainly think it could be on the cards and then who the hell knows what you're going to do. But it goes to show that wrestling never calms down and you really can pivot from nowhere. Like you can. Like I think we'd all decided, especially after <laughs> Cody was pointing at Roman, they shouldn't have done that in hindsight. It's you. It's you. Unless somebody asks me not to. But hey-ho, we'll have to wait and see. I thought the rest of SmackDown was pretty good. Like the fact we're going to do Logan Paul versus Kevin Owens round two, I assume at the Elimination Chamber. Tiffany Stratton being called up is a massive thumbs up. She's going to be a megastar. I'm very confused about the Bobby Lashley Street Profits Final Testament feud. I have no idea where that's going. I felt like we needed to do something big yesterday and it kind of felt more so of the same and the bailey stuff i think very sadly has kind of been overshadowed by the rock but again it is the rock i thought that was wonderful we pitched bailey as a really smart person she'd learned japanese she knew what damage control was saying still hilarious that eo sky before they walked out had gone here's my plan and i'll audibly say it out loud even though i haven't even hinted at this over the last few weeks but i don't care because this whole story is there to get Bailey to being a baby face again, which she already is. The fans absolutely love her. And she's going to get her WrestleMania moment. I think over the two days, that could be the most special thing that we get from WrestleMania because nobody deserves it more. She's a Hall of Famer and we've ticked all the boxes. Although for two comparisons, I'll give you before I leave you. One, it would be the equivalent of Sasha Banks just coming back and going, Bailey, can I have your spot? And Bailey going, yep. Or it would be like going back to WrestleMania 15 and Hulk Hogan just saying, hey, Rock and Austin, can I be in it instead? And then being like, yeah, sure you can, Hulk. But look, WWE will probably make a bunch of money and there'll be a bunch of people that do enjoy this. But we wake up to very interesting times in the wrestling world.
We shall have to wait and see. Now, of course, please do click the video on the screen, which is me fantasy booking who should beat Gunther. And you can come up with any name now, because let's face it, it all out of control. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Please click the bell, ding, ding, the notification bell. Otherwise, it's grillamind.com forward slash Simon. These are the supplements I use in my fitness life. And if you use the code Simon, you get 10% off. Patreon.com forward slash Simon316. Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter. Please do give me a follow. I'd like to get those numbers up. Cameo is Simon Miller. TikTok is Simon J. Miller. Merchandise is pro wrestling tees and Samson Athletics. But otherwise, it is just professional wrestling. Of course, pour your heart out, but then just kind of leave it there and get on with the rest of your day. It doesn't really matter. But if Cody Rhodes ever does see this, know that I love you, Cody. You're my damn hero. Goodbye.